Hey guys, I'm Josiah, and this weekend, How to Train Your Dragon 3 The Hidden World is out in theaters. I have a review of that on my channel if you want to check that out. In light of that, I thought, why not do a top five video for my favorite DreamWorks films that have been out so far. And uh, I th I've thought about this in the past. I kind of have thought about doing some top five, top 10 type of videos uh, here on the ch channel. If that's something that you want to see, then definitely leave a like and let me know in the comments below. If this video does well, then I might do more of these on the channel as well, talking about all sorts of different topics in the in movies and all that stuff. So with that being said, Let's go ahead and jump into it. So coming in at number five, I have How to Train Your Dragon 2. So I thought that this was a great continuation of from How to Train Your Dragon, the first one. And um, the thing that I liked so much about this one was the emotional weight that I had, even more so than in the first one, even though the first one gets pretty emotional as well. This one is on the same level to me as How to Train Your Dragon 3. So this spot might be taken one day by how to train your dragon 3 but how to train your dragon 3 um is still pretty new and stuff so i don't really want to give it to this spot yet but both films are really emotional how to train your dragon 2 is um a great film great family messages and the relationship between hiccup and toothless just continues to get better even in this one Coming in at number four, I have Megamind. So I really enjoyed this film when it came out. And I know that this film probably isn't quite as well rated as some of the other DreamWorks films that I have on my list. I really enjoyed this film because I, for one, am a huge fan of superhero films. And this one just felt like um, a new take on superheroes. The thing that I liked about this one was that it focused on the villain, but they still made the villain likable and charming and someone that you empathize with and that's what I really liked about this film. I also liked how it really um, was a parody in a lot of ways of the superhero genre as well. So I thought that they did a really good job with this film and really giving it a new take on the superhero genre and just keeping it fresh and unique and giving us still really great characters um, to, to fall in love with in this film. So coming in at number three, I have Shrek. So I love the Shrek series a lot and this is one of my favorite animated series of all time. Shrek is just a really really great film. I love the humor. The humor is just seriously one of the greatest things um, about this series and it's some of the best humor out there at least for me. It's humor that I relate to really well and stuff. Um, I love the characters. I love the world building that they do in this film and it just really is a classic. Shrek is a classic film. It belongs there with like the first Toy Story film and some of those other types of films that are animated that, that we consider classics nowadays. It really is just a really great film. I love how it really pulls you into that world that they created for the Shrek universe and they did a really good job with that. So Shrek is a great film, great messages in that film as well about you know looking on the inside instead of worrying so much about the outside and all of that stuff. Really good stuff in the film. So Shrek is number three. Coming in at number two, I have How to Train Your Dragon, the first one. So this film, I, I remember watching in theaters and just really falling in love with this film. I loved how they, I loved all the dragon stuff that they had in the film. I loved how it was set in like this kind of Norse type of world and stuff, very Viking-ish and all that. I loved the relationship between Toothless and Hiccup as well. And um, I was a big fan of Aragon at that time. I was reading those books and all that stuff. Um, the Inheritance Trilogy and, or Cycle, I should say. Um, I think it was still, a trilogy at that point I can't remember but uh but I was really into those books and I loved the whole idea of um a human having a relationship with a dragon and seeing how that would work and stuff and how they would um bond and all that and I thought that they did a really good job with how to train your dragon showing that you know Aragon the movie was a huge disappointment to me so having this is kind of like a way to get a taste of what a good film dealing with that concept would be um it, it was really nice to, to get that so it was just a really sweet film the animation was incredible um and i just really fell in love with this this universe they made for how to train your dragon and i thought that they just 
really knocked it out of the park with how to train your dragon. And coming in at number one, we have Shrek 2. So I, I love this film so much. It is probably one of the most enjoyable films I've ever watched. It is seriously one of those films that never gets old, no matter how many times you watch it. Everything about this film is just perfect. It the the way that the story is written is just great the there's moments where it's very very funny other moments where it's super epic it's just really well done all the characters really rose to new levels in this film um and everything having to do with uh the fairy godmother and prince charming was all really great stuff as well and i just thought that they did a fantastic job with this film this is seriously one of those films that i will never forget and i just i just love going back to this film it is really really well done and um this this was the movie that really solidified my my love for animated films in a lot of ways as well um obviously i have watched a lot of animated films before this one but this one really just made me see the potential of the animated genre to be more than just cute kids movies and stuff if that makes sense so i really just love this film a lot and the thing that i love about dreamworks is that you can have a movie like shrek 2 and then you can have a movie like how to turn your dragon both great films but very very different in a lot of ways and the styles the the mood, the themes, everything is just so different with these types of films. And I think that's something that DreamWorks does really, really well. And something that makes me a big fan of DreamWorks. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this list. If you did, then consider leaving a comment below, letting me know your favorite DreamWorks films. And I just, I love DreamWorks. I think they do a great job and I'm excited to see where they go in the future as well. So Let's talk about your favorite films from DreamWorks in the comments below. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you very soon in another video. Talk to you later. Bye.